politics makes very strange bedfellows. We're, we're in a situation now I, I never thought we would be in, which is that the conservative Republican president hates Fox News. Trump, Trump hates Fox News. Trump used to love Fox News and Fox used to love Trump. Conservatives used to love Fox News. Fox used to love conservatives. Now, do you know who loves Fox News? Brian Stelter at CNN. We did talk about Fox News, and he's very disappointed at Fox News at very crucial moments. Uh, the debate Chris Wallace is moderating was terrible, really hurt, I think, uh, the president. And then, you know, they called the election. They called Arizona with 14 percent of the vote in. You, many other networks never called it. Meanwhile, they wouldn't call Florida for hours. Why? What was going on at Fox News that they didn't want to give the president the sense that he was winning or had the potential shot of winning? Fox has um, a great decision desk. I respect their decision desk. They don't, they don't, they don't do it like that. They don't play games like that. Chris? I think media malpractice, let's look at the Fox News poll. It was off by, what, eight points? Almost every poll was, in, the data coming out of Fox was not good at all. Yeah, we're going to get into the uh, polls, but, but the Fox, uh, the Fox polls were scientific. They were trying their best. I love the, oh, I love Fox News. Yeah, we here at CNN, man, last couple days, man, we've just been loving Fox News. Frankly, they made us blush a little bit when they called Arizona for Joe Biden before anybody and for no reason whatsoever. We said, Fox, slow it down. I know you want to, you want to seem like us for a couple days, but come on. So anyway, in conclusion, Chris, and no, we, we love Fox News over here at CNN. That was, that was Chris Ruddy, by the way. Uh, Chris Ruddy is the head of Newsmax, which is a uh, conservative competitor to Fox. And uh, Newsmax has remained quite conservative. Uh, you know, th this, this changing of the guard, this changing of political perspectives on cable news reminds us among the es established outlets, there is no conservative voice. There isn't one. Th we thought there was but there isn't. It's all against conservatives. And now it seems it's against the president. I hope you enjoyed that short segment from the Michael Knowles show. Be sure to check out the full episode linked in the description or download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts.